What's up, man? It's your big brother, K. Reno, man. Look, this is a big one here because this is something we've been hearing all our life and it's been debated forever and ever and ever. And the question is, can you or should you and me, should we question God? And over the years, you've heard people, ever since I was little, you know, somebody may be talking about something and they might say, well, you know, it is what it is. You know, you, you can't question God. Or they'll say, I ain't going to question God. You know, I'm just going to let it be what it be. And then other people will, in their prayers, they'll say, I've heard people who've been in prayer circles and you, Lord, it's not my place to question you. I'm just going to trust you and... And we should trust him. But I'm not one of those people who believe that you shouldn't or you can't or it's wrong to question God. I don't believe that. I can't remember who was teaching on this subject or touching on this subject. I don't remember if it was Minister Farrakhan. I can't remember who it was, but it was somebody in the nation of Islam, and they made a wonderful point, and the point that they made, this was years ago when I heard this, they said, why wouldn't you question God, because who's better qualified to give you the answer? And that resonated with me so strong that I incorporated it into a song years back. I can't remember which song. But it just makes perfect sense. If you have questions in, in, in your life and you're seeking answers to certain things that are going on in your life, who better to question? He's all wise, all knowing. He knew that you were going to be in this dilemma before you got into it. And now you're seeking answers to get out of whatever situation that you're in or to fix whatever problem you may be going through or just to answer any question. And how does he give you the answers? Because I know some people will say, well, well you know, you... The Lord spoke to me and he said, and it's not my place to, to say that God didn't talk to you or whatever, you know. I base those things typically on how it's presented. When a person says that God spoke directly to them, I usually base my belief of that on their presentation of them saying that. If you sound kind of, if you're going kind of out there with it when you described it, you know, me and God, we sat down and we had a slice of pizza together and he told me, you know, I'm like, you know, God showed up at the basketball court. He had necks up. And I asked him, could I run with it? And he was telling me on the sideline and, nah, then I'm like, well, but, there are people who have that connection. I really believe that. And when their presentation is presented, then I'm, I lean more towards going, okay, I can see that. But he gives you answers in the form, in different forms. He gives you answers in the form of people, situations, scenarios, scripture, there's certain little signs that, that, that seem to magically come out of like, man, I was just confused on this and then I walked outside and bam, these things happen to us a lot. Some people refer to them as coincidence. We don't believe in coincidence. So when there are things that I believe to be definitive signs or definitive moments when you have a question in your head and then that question comes to you like that I feel like God gave me my answers that's just me but I don't believe that God 
looks at us and goes, don't ever question me. Even when something is really going wrong. Because we will say, why God, why, why God, why is this happening? Or, I don't understand why this would happen. You know, that's you're questioning God at that moment. And if that question is coming from a, a sincere place, a really honest place, even when it's being expressed in a passionate way, not a disrespectful way, but just in a passionate way, just you get emotional. People are emotional. We are, we are driven more by emotion than logic. When it's coming from that, I don't believe that that's something that God gets upset about. He understands. He created you. He created me. He knows, okay, he and his feelings right now. And he really wants to know. And he he's sincere in his questioning. So I disagree when people say don't question God. I want to go to a master teacher. If 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 I'm in if I'm in school and there's a problem that I'm having with with, with some of the actual uh, school work or whatever the case might be, and I need an answer, I want to go to the professor or the teacher that is most qualified to answer the question that I have about this uh, work, this curriculum, or whatever. So why wouldn't I do that with the creator? You know? And another thing we gotta understand is that there are other, uh, there are people among us who can answer those questions on behalf of God. Some people will say, oh, no, no, no. They have qualified themselves. They've studied, they've mastered certain uh, wisdoms and they can represent, they can represent God in terms of giving those answers. It would be the same as if you did talk to, well, I wanted to talk to such and such, but he's not here today. How can I help you? He told me you were coming and he, he had, well, I came to ask him, oh yeah, he told me to tell you blah, 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 whatever, whatever. So those answers, though they may not come what we believe to be magically from the mouth of God himself, he deposits the answers all around us in, in people and things and in nature. And, 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 and those answers can be received through different means. So yeah, if you got a question that you can't answer or no one else can seem to answer, who better to take it to than the most high? He's called the most high. You got people that are high, pretty high levels. I ain't talking about weed high. But out of all the people that are high, he's the most high. So that's who I want my question answered by. Don't be scary like you're gonna get in trouble you're going to be punished. Oh, God's going to punish me if I question him. Nah. He wants you to question. He wants you to have knowledge. He wants your knowledge to be maxed out. He wants you to know. He wants to bring you into the knowledge of himself. Think about that. Because the book says that ye are all God's children of the Most High God. So if you're a child... You want to grow into your father. All right, man, I'm done. It's your big brother, K. Reno. Keep in mind that this is me talking. I'm not no preacher. I'm not no minister. I'm not no scholar. I'm just a person who thinks of stuff, and then I decide to talk about it on YouTube. All right, man, it's, a big, it's your big brother, K. Reno. Go get the album. Every video from here on out is going to be a commercial, too. It's going to be a commercial. And my brand-new album is out. Blessing and the Burden, you can go to SouthParkCoalition.net if you want a CD like this, or you can go to all the digital platforms. Catch y'all later, man. Peace.